Hello and welcome to Long Lost Tech, and today we'll be taking a look at the $250 gaming laptop experience. This is the Dell Latitude E6540, a 15-inch business laptop released in 2013. It's chunky, the battery life isn't great, and it's loud, but for less than what this GTX 980 is going for on eBay right now, it could be a compelling option for some people. My E6540 is the highest-end model Dell sold, with an Intel Core i7-4800MQ, 8GB of DDR3 memory, and an AMD HD 8790M graphics card. Mine has a 500GB SSD and a 500GB hard drive in the expansion bay. The screen is a 15-inch, 1080p 60Hz panel. The exterior is typical Dell design, building off of 20 years of previous designs like the D600, D620, and E6330. The shell is made out of Dell's magnesium alloy, which is pretty durable but tends to get dented and dinged easily. The backlit keyboard is a decent size with the numpad, but the arrow keys are kind of crammed into the corner without spacer keys like we see on some of Dell's older machines. The trackpad is, well, not great. The eraser nub pointer returns if that's your thing, and you get media keys, which I really appreciate. The I.O. selection is on point, as usual. SD card reader, expansion bay, headset jack, four USB 3.0 ports, Ethernet, VGA, HDMI, and a security card slot. If that's not enough, the Dell expansion dock adds even more ports. Mine does not have Bluetooth, and the onboard Wi-Fi card leaves a little to be desired, only supporting 2.4 GHz wireless B, G, and N. That's easy enough to swap out, though, or you could just use a USB wireless dongle. The laptop weighs in at a hefty 6.5 pounds, and you're going to need the largest power adapter they sold to keep the CPU and graphics cards running well. That adds another 3 or 4 pounds, and then you add in the cooling pad you're going to want to avoid lighting anything on fire, and it's not the easiest laptop to shove in a backpack. If you want portability, the E6330 you see here would be a much better option. But you're probably willing to make some sacrifices for better performance, and that's what we're going to look at next. The CPU really carries this thing in desktop applications, and multitasking is no issue with the SSD and 4-core processor. The 1080p display makes running side-by-side -side windows easy enough also. When it comes to gaming, you've got some options. While the HD 8790M is certainly going to be your first choice, the built-in Intel 4400 graphics chips actually works better in some cases. It's a delicate balance between frame rate and fire hazard with this thing. Games like FTL, and Stardew Valley run just fine with the integrated graphics, with the benefit of not having the fan spinning like a jet engine. Minecraft goes both ways, assuming you're using Optifine. If you're trying to keep it quiet and not heat your whole house, the Intel HD graphics work well enough, but the AMD graphics are definitely going to give you a higher frame rate. When you get into more demanding games like Left 4 Dead 2 and GTA 5, you're going to need to use the AMD graphics. Trust me, I've tried GTA 5 on Intel graphics and, uh, not good. Left 4 Dead 2 runs fairly well, provided you keep the settings and your expectations low. GTA 5 is alright as well, with the resolution scaling set a little lower than normal. Once again, this was a $250 laptop, you can't expect 60 FPS in AAA games. Last but not least, Valheim is technically playable if you use the Vulkan renderer and play in a small window. I wouldn't try any boss fights on this setup, but if you're in a pinch, it'll work. So, if we look at the pros and cons of the Dell Latitude E6540, it's relatively cheap for what you're getting. There are other laptops at this price point, but the HD 8790M is kind of a standout feature for a business laptop from this time period. Is it going to keep up with the GTX 750? No. Is it better than the onboard graphics? Definitely. It's also built fairly well and uses the same barrel jack plug for power that Dell used for almost 25 years, so if you already have a Dell laptop, that's nice. However, it's a little cumbersome if you're used to newer laptops, so if portability and price are your absolute top priorities, but you still want a Windows laptop, I'd go with something like this E6330. I did a video on it a few years back, and I'll put a card up if you want to watch that later. The I.O. on the E6330 is pretty slim though, so it's a trade-off. And perhaps the biggest con with this machine, it's really loud and it gets really warm. Putting a quad-core i7 and a real graphics card in this thing probably wasn't the smartest idea from a thermal standpoint. CPU and GPU temps get pretty toasty if you're playing video games, and you should avoid having it on your lap at all. But in the world of low-spec gaming, there's always pros and cons, and I think the E6540 is a decent machine for sub-300 bucks. Are there better laptops out there? Yeah. 
Are you going to find a better one for $250? Probably not. And if you don't care about being able to move your computer at all, and feel like cutting a hole in the bottom of it, you can also get one of these external GPU setups. So that's about it. Sorry for the nearly two year hiatus, narrated content like this takes a lot of time to make, but I think I'm finally back into the swing of it, so hopefully I'll have more videos like this done soon. Thanks for watching.